always investigating, mixing family business and city business. On the record more than once, Naperville's mayor has said he has no personal vested interest in any development projects in the city. The night team's Tara Molina found out that may not be the case. With units already selling for up to $1.5 million, they're among the most expensive condos on the market in Naperville, and they haven't even been built yet. But the 17 planned Central Park Place condominiums, incorporating the city's 120 year old Nichols Library, spurred a controversy long before floor plans were online. The developer and owner originally planned to tear down the library to make them happen. An outcry from residents prompted a city council vote to protect the building as a local historic landmark. Mayor Steve Chirico among the three who voted against the designation. Chirico. No. Because he said it was against the owner and project developers property rights. He supported the development project now years in the making. Recently stating more than once that he and his family don't have any financial advantage or money to be made through future development. I don't want anybody to be able to ever accuse my company or myself of having a financial benefit from uh, the work that we're doing here on the dais. So when CBS2 independently confirmed the business he founded and still owns, Great Western Flooring now has ties to the Central Park Place project. We have not bid that job. Uh, nor have we do we intend to bid that job. We went right to his office. That this is something that you wanted to develop. So if your company now has the contract for the flooring, sure, there could be some. Sure, uh, but that's not the case. It certainly wasn't the case back then, and I'll find out if it's the case now. If that is the case, you would, you know, ab abstain. Yeah, you know, I would I would certainly consider that because this particular item was an item that I carried the flag on. Back in Chicago, hours later, the phone rang with a different explanation. No longer involved in Great Western's day to day, his daughters run the company. He's focused full time on mayoral duties. Chirico said he didn't realize at the time of our interview that Great Western Flooring is involved in the project, explaining they were brought in by a design company because of a specific product they carry. We have sent them a proposal uh, with pricing and we're now waiting for them to make up their mind on what direction they're going to go. That brought us back to Naperville. But I had no knowledge when I was working with the city council on this project that we would ever be involved with it. Had I known that, I would recuse. And now you've made a bid. Can you see why? The optics look like that? I understand that. And so I think that um, the, the consumers in town who rely on us for being, having an honest transaction uh, and the value that we bring, that uh, we should be able to provide that service to them going forward. You, you've stood in forums and said that you and your family have, you know, no plans to have any financial gain on future development. And then here we are learning you've placed a bid on a development you did carry the flag on. That is true. That is true. But we were, when I also sped name those developments. And I did not name this particular one, and I was not aware of this one, but I also don't consider this a major development. Steve Chirico sat down with us originally to address this because he told us he stands for transparency, and that's why he told us he sat down with us again today. Tonight, he stands behind his family business's bid to win the Central Park Place contract. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News. Brad? Huh. Tara, thank you.